Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that Karishma joined piano classes last year. She was taught 12 pieces of music, P1 to P12, one piece per month, subject to the below conditions. Okay, so it says P4, P6, and P10 were taught in the months having the same first letter. Okay, so let us write uh, the names of the months because one of the conditions says months that have same number of letters in their names. Okay, so we will have to write the names and get it. So January <coughs> has seven letters, February has eight, then March has five. April has 5, May 3, June 4, July also 4, August has 6, then September has 9, October has 7, then November has 8 and December also has 8 letters okay now uh, first condition says P4, P6, P10 were taught in the months having same first letter so same first letter is of course J okay so uh, no other letter comes 3 times or even if it comes March M comes 2 times April is only once, February is only once. So rest all come, do not come. A, A comes twice, but none of them comes three times. So they has to be January, uh, June and July. These are 4, 6, 10. The next is P12, P7 and P5 were taught in the months in order, in the given order. Okay, so that means P12 come first, P7 and then P5. In the months that have same number of letters. So same number of letters you can see is 8, 8 and 8. Okay, so that means this is P12 and this is 7 and this is 5. Okay, so these two conditions required external knowledge about the names of the months and the number of letters in them. P8 as well as P1 was taught after P4. Okay, so P8 and P1 are taught after P4, fine. Then P2 was taught in the month immediately after the month in which P4 was taught. Okay, so P2 is immediately after P4. So we have P4 and P2. So they can be here or here, right? So there are multiple possibilities. So it says uh, P8 as well as P1 was taught after P4. So P8 and P1 are also taught after P4. Okay, so 8 and 1 should also be taught after P4. Okay, so immediately after is P2, but we have 8 1 also taught after it. Okay, so not necessary that these are uh, in 4 in particular order, but they can be later also. So uh, next is P11 was taught before P6 but after P9. So we have P6 and P9. Sorry, P9 is taught before and P6 is taught after. Okay, so P11 is taught between them. Okay, now we say that 4, 6 and 10 are here. So 6, uh, 6 cannot be definitely, 6 definitely can't be this one. Okay, 4 can't be this one because uh, after 4 we have 2 right after 4 we have 2 so we cannot have p4 here we cannot have p6 because uh, p11 is taught before p6 so that means this will be p10 okay so this is p10 now we have uh, we have p4 and 6 remaining now 2 is taught after p4 just after p4 so this has to be p4 and this has to be p6 and this will be p2 right so these are done now 8 and 1 are taught, taught after here so it will be 8 or 1 p1 or p8 and similarly it will be p8 or p1 okay for these conditions now uh, another condition that is uh, P11 is taught between 9 and 6. So this is 6. Okay. So uh, P11 is between 9 and 6. Of course, 9 has to come before. 
Now the sixth condition says that there were exactly five months between the two months in which P8 and P3 were taught. So there have to be a difference of six. Five months in between, so difference of six. So there is one case where uh, P8 is taught in September. So in that case, P3 will be taught in March. Okay, And in the other case, if it is taught in uh, October, P3 will be taught in April. Okay, So now we are left with two more. One is P11 and another is uh, one is done, two is done, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. P9 is remaining, right? So one is P9. And 1 is 11. So 9 and 11 are remaining. So we need to fix these two. Now it says that P9 comes before P11. Okay. So if you consider the left case, P9 should be this and this would be P11. If you consider the second case, then also P9 would be before P11. So P9 is here and P11 is here. So this gives us the complete arrangement. We have two cases. Okay, in one, uh, like p depending on these th these four. Okay, so the first question is for how many months pieces of music the months in which they were taught can be uniquely determined. So, except these four, we can determine for eight of the pieces. In which month was P11 taught? So, P11 was taught in the month of May. Which of the following was definitely not taught in the third quarter? So, third quarter means July to September. So, if we see uh, 4, 2, 1 or 8. So, 4, 2, 1 are present. 3 is not taught. So, 3 is taught in the first or second quarter. If P9 was taught before P3. Okay. If P9 is taught before 3, three So, that means we are taking the first case. In which month was P1 taught? So, we are taking the first case. So, P1 will be taught in September in that case. Which of the following statements is not sufficient to uniquely determine the months for all the pieces? So, if we get P1 was taught in September, we can uniquely determine because we will get P1 and P8 and there is a relation between Pn and P8 and P3 which is the difference of months. So, this is sufficient. P9 was taught in the second quarter. So, second quarter is from April to June. So, if you know P9 is here. So, basically out of these four, if any one out of four is known okay we can answer like we can uniquely determine p8 and p7 were not taught in consecutive months okay p8 and p7 this is p7 if p8 is not uh, taught in this month okay so p p7 is taught in november if p8 is not taught in october we can again uniquely determine so last option says p6 was taught after p3 so we already know that p6 is taught after p3 Okay, so it is not sufficient. It is not sufficient to answer uniquely which month, which piece was taught. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.